Well, more coming up here in about 30 minutes on WTIC 721. Time for our weekly visit, Star Power. Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Alden Davis. My uh, ValueTree.com is the website, and I assume you've downloaded everything, correct? So now we're ready. Oh, I hope so. Okay. Good morning, Ray. Good morning. Sailing the seven seas of business. Regardless of your business, all business is guided by a process I like to call order to cash. Learn this process and increase your star power. To navigate our way through the order to cash process, we need a map, and that's what we have posted for you at myvalutree.com. Sailors of old use maps to navigate their way around the world through the seven seas. The seas we are going to sail through, however, are seven words that begin with the letter C that describe the process of order to cash. They are care, customers, closing, contract, craft, collections, and character. Well, a lot of Cs. Seven of them. The journey begins in the sea of care. You know, Ray, it's customary to christen a new ship, and while we don't have champagne, we do have a nice 2007 bottle of Two (laughs) Flies Cabernet Sauvignon from McLaren Vale in South Australia. Never heard of Two Fly? It's a great local story about Chris Didden, a person who personifies star power. Chris has turned a passion into a startup business, and it all began in the sea of care. There's a lesson here. Care is an acrostic for cause, action, real, and enthusiastic. And it all begins with a cause, a passion for something. You love it. You have energy around it. It makes your eyes twinkle. For Chris, it's wine. For years, wine has been his hobby. So much so that he turned his basement into an impressive wine cellar. A few years ago, during a trip to Australia, Chris became introduced to the wines of McLaren Vale. Elegant, silky, structured, a great value, and not available in the U.S. market. Chris found his cause. Action followed. He developed his relationship with an import-export specialist, put up all the cash he had, spent over a year filling out regulatory paperwork, leased a warehouse, all with his own money, worked after hours cultivating relationships with potential customers, spent another 15000 on samples, which is an unheard of practice, and paid for all of his orders up front. Chris is also real. There's no pretense. He's authentic. As his on-site representative says, quote, I'm impressed by his integrity, his passion for, and knowledge of wine, his total commitment, and the effort he puts into making the business work. The ordered cash process begins with people who are 100% in. They're not fakers, pikers, or posers. Lastly is the C. Uh, the last C is care. Now, is enthusiasm. Yes. There we go. Boy, these Cs are getting us. You know, it's enthusiasm. Good. It's a zeal. It's a zest for what you're doing. When I picked up this bottle at the Super Cellar in Avon, I asked the manager about Chris, and he said, quote, his enthusiasm is contagious. As Chris said, I didn't hire any salesman with wine experience. I hired people with a love of wine. When you have a love or passion for something, it shows through. And I love this statement. We don't sell our wine. We share our wine. I like that. So the start of business success begins with you caring about what you're doing. How wonderful when your passion fuels your vocation. And with a nice wind at your back, we sail out on the sea of care and into the sea of customers. This is where we will pick up next week as we explore the selling process and customer identification. Eh, Maybe we can get Chris on and learn how he is navigating this most tricky sea. May the wind always be at your back and may the sun shine warm on your face. Enjoy the journey and let your star shine brightly. I'm Alden Davis. All right, there you are. It's 725 on WTIC News Talk 1080. I just thought a brief musical interlude would be fun. We'll get Joe on here in a sec, do some travel weather. I'm in a Ronette's mood this morning. I don't care. Well, we're taking a vacation from politics today. We're just, you know, we've got to take a day off. I did put up.